Hey craft lovers and welcome back to my channel. This DIY today is kid friendly and the materials you're going to need are some toilet paper, toilet tissue rolls, some cardstock, a pencil, some scissors, ruler, an eraser, and a glue gun and decorative add-ons. You're going to see that as I continue in this video. I am going to be adding those in the video. But right now what we need to do, we need to take the toilet tissue roll and measure out how much cardstock we need. You can also um, do this part where I bend it and the end of the paper, you just want to draw a line where it touches the, the paper that it's laying on. And now we have a line. Now we're going to use the ruler and we're going to draw a straight line so um, we can cut this part out because we only need this half of the paper and once this is done we're gonna cut it you can erase it if you want um, I sh will show you the how to erase for this part but that's ne not necessarily you need to erase just make sure when you're folding the toilet tissue roll into the cardstock that the writing where their pencil is it is the direction where the glue is rolling over so you can't see it but it's up to you can erase so we're going to cut this paper and we're going to get the toilet tissue toilet paper some people say it different um and we're going to measure the other half of it okay so see you can erase it next you want to take your toilet tissue toilet paper roll and you want to make sure it's all the way to the end as you can see right here i didn't slide it all the way down um, but I need you to make sure that you slide it all the way to the end. You want to leave your mark exactly where um, it stops. And you're going to take your ruler and you're going to make sure you draw an even line going all the way down because this is going to be our cut line to cut off the excess. Once uh, that is done, we're going to cut and this will be our final piece. Again, you have the option where you can use paint. Um, if you don't want a mess, you can um, do it this way. And I will be using a glue gun, but the kids, this is a kid-friendly DIY, they can use the little Elmer glue sticks. This can work as well. Um, you are going to take it and you're going to put glue right at the end of it. Glue stick or glue gun. I'm using my glue gun. You're going to just lay it down flat and you're going to put the toilet tissue roll right on top of the glue with elmer's glue or any other type of glue other than a glue gun you will probably will need to put more but with the glue gun it's easy peasy it's one easy fix and again since this is a kids diy i encourage you to use the elmer's glue all you have to do instead of using the glue gun just make sure the cardstock has all of the elmer's glue on it and again, you can paint, it's up to you. But I like less of a mess, so this way is easier. And you're gonna make sure all the glue go all the way down. You wanna roll it. And then that last flap, don't worry about it because it's gonna be covered. And as you continue to watch the video, you're gonna see how. This little last piece, you're gonna add your last bit of glue to make sure it's secure and you're gonna flatten it down and you're gonna make sure put your thumbs inside and you wanna press down and this access is the last piece that you're gonna cut off and you're gonna cut off and again you don't worry about this little flap it's gonna be covered remember we are making leprechaun uh, binocular so that crease part is going to be glued so you won't be able to see it and again since I didn't make sure that my toilet tissue roll was all the way at the end of the car stock when I drew my measurements I have access so I'm just cutting that off so so you won't have to do that I'm preventing you to do so just make sure that the toilet tissue toilet paper roll is at the end and that is issue you're going to repeat this process as many times as you need 
um, depending on how many you're making but for a set you would need two so you would repeat that again um, since you already cut one uh, one of the card stock papers this is the other half you see how this side it's all the way to the end and you want to draw your line grab your ruler and repeat the process I'm going to speed up the video at this point so it's not um, tedious and you don't have to go through it now that both pieces are done now we're going to glue them together and when you glue them together you do not see the creases where we cut our cardstock keep watching now we're on to the fun part now we have to glue these both together and you want to make sure the creases are together you also want to have ribbon a hole puncher decorative things that you can add on to it i'm going to add eyes you could draw i'm going to draw on it it's all up to you it's all to what would your child wants to do so um just let them have fun and be free and just have materials for them to use so again right now we're going to glue these together and um you want them the same way um in this video you can see me gluing and then i notice when i put it on that um it was the wrong way so right here wrong way and then i switched it you want them facing it if they both if one is facing down have them both facing down if one is facing up don't have them facing opposite ways because then you'll see the crease and you want to press inside get your fingers all in there you want to make sure that um, any excess glue that you get it out you also want to turn it over so that uh, you can see whether or not you can see the glue on the other side and if you can you're gonna pinch it you see how I can see the glue you're just gonna pinch it so now you won't be able to see the glue it's coming together yeah so um, and you can do the um, opposite like different colors it don't need to be one set color you could do scripts you can add scripts but um right now let's get the hole punch and you want to just eyeball it you can put a marker to to see um to make sure it's even but i just eyeballed it and put two holes on it and that is pretty much it now you're going to grab your ribbon you can grab ribbon um i got it from dollar tree you need your scissors I'm not going to be using this one. I'm going to be using uh, twine. I have brown and I also have green. I'm going to be using the green one. Okay, so you want to just make it long enough so um, it's for your child's neck. If you make the one for you, make sure it's large. Um, this twine is thin. I may have to double it. Um, matter of fact, I'm not. I'm just going to go with the flow because with twine, um, some places it's thick and then some places it's thin. So you just got to play with it. But you want to give it a knot where it can't come out. That is good enough. And then excess twine, you want to just cut that off. So um, it's not affecting when your child looks through it. You want to make it long enough so it can wrap around the neck. And as you can see, you see how it started off thick? And then it thins out right here. I'm going to cut here. Um, I may have to make it shorter just because of it. So let's see if it works. So I'm just going to put it in. You want to go directly in from the the color of the construction paper cardstock um, into the toilet paper roll, toilet tissue roll. And you want to do a knot big enough so it can stay in. But because this is the thin side of the twine, I think it may not work. But let's see. This is three knots that I'm put. I'm going to put one more. And one more just to be on the safe side. And let's see if this works. Nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in. And I am just going to go where the thicker part of the twine is and make a knot there and cut off the excess. 
So we have one knot. We have two. I'm just going to add. Nope, it stays. So I'm going to cut off the excess in the knot that didn't work. So we have our string. We're good to go. Now we get to do the fun part. So what we're going to do is grab all the decorative add-ons you have and you are going to put them on. So I have eyes. I have black eyes. I purchased these from Dollar Tree. I think it was the time um, I purchased these during Halloween. They also had a colorful one. So I'm going to be using these. It's from the Craft the Square section of Dollar Tree and they have different colors. Green, blue, purple, um, and orange. So I'm going to add these all over the Leprechaun find, uh, binocular finders. And I am going to put these all over. Again, if you have jewels, if you have um, pipe cleaners, if you have buttons, anything that you have. You can even cut up um, construction paper. And you can cut those up and add it on. If you want to add glitter, go for it. Um, the better, the more materials, the better, the more creative, the cuter. It's all up your child, all up to your child's um, imagination. So I say go for it. So I took out um, certain colors. Um, I wanted to make sure I had all of them. So I took out the green, the purple, the yellow, and the blue, just so I had enough to go on the front of it and the back of it. Um, you can just decorate one side. You can decorate both sides like I did. It's all up to you and your child doing this DIY. So I'm using a glue gun again, but as I stated in the beginning of this video, you can use Elma's glue or any glue you have. The glue gun is quicker. It sets quicker. That's why I'm using it. There's no child doing it, but I would say um, with the child, let them use the Elma's glue. It's going to take a little while longer to dry, but... um. If they want it right away and um, they want to use it, I would say have adult supervision and um, have them use that glue gun to glue it on so they can use it right away. And uh, yeah, so you want to just glue it around. I'm going to speed this part up so um, you can see the finished product. <music> So this is the finished look. I love the way it came out. I'm going to be adding more. Um, I'm going to be putting pipe cleaners at the end of it. But I feel like the video is already 13 minutes in. Or probably even longer than that. So I am going to right now make a little bit of drawing little faces. Or should I say mouse. So I have a little silly tongue. You can um, draw any type of mouth that you want. So I'm going to draw like a zigzag mouth. Remember, we are looking for a leprechaun. So we do, I don't know what a leprechaun look like. Um, so they can do whatever they want. There's a smelly face on one side and a sad face on the other. It all depends how you look at it. And I am going to draw one with teeth and a tongue and a little and it's smiling and then the one eye one because we want it to be cute but that is it um if you want depending how many kids are doing this i find it easy for you guys to put your name right in it. So I'm just going to put IU Favors on the inside because this is mine. Um, and on the opposite side, I am going to put the date. I know a lot of families like to keep keepsake items or recycle the items for the following year. So um, just put in the date. And that is it. March 1st, 2021. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.